This leg of a race was certainly a circus. I personally enjoyed all the makeup and you see you running with, you know, a cherry nose and cherry cheeks. Lamont, <laughs> what did you think of this challenge and how did you feel about traveling around Bogota in that clown makeup? <laughs> oh my gosh. So <laughs> I am, I, it was the I best kind of like the sentiment yet, I'm sure. of D'Angelo, like red is not my color. I don't want to, um, I, I, you know what I mean? I'm just not like a, a clowny kind of a person. Like, you know what I mean? I'm kind of like a serious person, maybe, not really. But <laughs> I take myself more seriously than that. Um, so traveling around and not being able to like wipe it off was like ridiculous, especially when you start seeing us like running and because we're sweating because that truck was humongous and we we're like jumping all over it trying to get the stuff done. And I'm just like, you really just going to take all these pictures of me with this on my face? Wow. <laughs> wow. You look cute getting, to me. We kept yeah. getting a no. Like we asked the man nine times. It was like, oh my gosh, this is impossible. I'm really, I really was ready to sit down and just be like, F it, we lose. Like <laughs> <laughs> That damn horn was the, the uh, you know, horn. the crux of the whole situation. At the next task though, Theo and Alana gave Haley and Kaylin some advice on how to hook up their truck horns and finish the challenge. Kelly, you were smart and watched their interaction take place so that you could do the same. Were you annoyed though that they helped out the other team and maybe not you? Um, in the moment, no. Cause I mean, it was just so much. And I'm like, oh my God, our truck is perfect. They're this, just, get, let's just get it. Um, so then I'm trying to do it. Like when I watched last night, I was like, hmm. But we're also like close, like I'm very close with Leo and Alana now, like they're getting married and I'm performing their marriage ceremony. So like, I mean, it's a, it's a game. So like I'm a competitor and I'm never going to be mad at them. Like it's a game and spoiler alert for, you know, the amazing race everyone gets eliminated. Like, there's only one winner. So, I mean, <laughs> spoiler alert. Like, if you watch the show, you know, only two people win. So, you know, you got to go out sometime if you're not the winner. Um, sucks, because I love, you know, money and a million dollars to split with her would have been awesome. But, um, you know, you know that people make alliances. The Mind Five, as they're called, they had a, a very strong one. And, um, you know, they decided from then on to work together. That's what they said last night. So, you know, it's been actually interesting to find out this commentary that you don't see while racing. Like, oh, really? Um, yes. But it's cool. I, now, I gave them the side eye. But they're now fine. you get the inside scoop that the audience has been watching with. You know, unfortunately, the two of you encountered a cab driver who seemed particularly lost, and you did not have a cell phone or a phone charger, unfortunately, at that point to power up your phone. Ultimately, you were the last to finish uh, across the line and thus eliminated from the race. Do you, how much of this is really blamed on that cab driver, Kelly? All of it, every <laughs> single piece of it. Um, <laughs> I know his name, it's, it's etched in my, in my memory forever. Um, but what you guys don't see is when we get the truck, we're not very far behind. Um, who left after us, Frankie and Jerry? Yeah, Frankie and Jerry left right before us. So we're not far behind them at all. Um, our taxi driver, we gave him the directions and let's say the place is on like 45th Avenue and 7th Street. He goes to 7th Avenue and 45th Street, which is like 90 blocks, 45 minutes, the other direction in rush hour traffic. And my girl, LaVon, speaks fluent Spanish, but he just literally decides to do what he wants to do. And then he doesn't even realize it. We look up and we're smart enough to be counting the streets. And we're like, oh, oh my God. God. So, of course, there's a lot of screaming in the car and freaking out, but we literally went the whole wrong way. So we knew like if it was an elimination leg, if somebody else didn't get lost, like it was gonna be us. LaVon, if you could change anything about that second leg, what would you change? Woo. Um, Rereading the clue over and over um, because I read it, put it in my back pocket. If you watch it closely at the end, it's in my back pocket the entire time. Um, and I remember once like you get like the, the little jog, you're like, that's 
it did say corn, right? But, you, but you're not thinking about it in the moment. You just see a huge truck and everybody else is already almost done. So I'm just like, throw the stuff on there, get on there, jump on there. And, you know, just trying to get it done as fast as possible. So that would be the biggest thing that I would change. But to piggyback off of what she said, everything is based on like momentum. So we just kept being behind and behind and behind and you get like, the little things that are problems aren't as big of a problem if you're like in the front three. Like it's right. like, as opposed to being in the back three and you're like, oh my God, oh, are we gonna make it? And that last little bit, so we got criticized because we jogged into the into the mat. They're like, your track stars, you're supposed to be racing. But we already knew that we were 30 minutes lost by then. Right. And it, it it's impossible to be 30 minutes lost trying to get 10 minutes away. <laughs> so. Like literally the place was down the street. And like every time we, because we couldn't trade taxis because also it was one of the things of riding in a marked taxi. Um, so we couldn't, um, you know, get in a new taxi, but whatever, you know, you live, you learn. It was fun. Another adventure in the belt. We'll have more. You'll see more of us. I, I have no doubt about it. You know, Hung and Chi came in first place for the second time in a row. Kelly, are they the strongest competitors so far? What do you think? I can't deem anyone a strong competitor because there are so many twists and turns that you can take on the race. And like one false move on your behalf, someone else is going to capitalize on it. Um, so I think the team that will do the best is like somebody that stays really focused on themselves and not like outside added elements because there are outside added elements and this is controlled chaos. They know what they're doing. So they've been doing this for a while. And LaVon, if you had to put your money on any, you know, pairing to win, who do you think is going to take it all the way right now? Hmm. So... I like Hung and Chi, to be honest, but that's just because they work really well together. Like watching this episode and being like, Hung is like, I'm so little, I can fit inside the thing and I, and I put on the back, it's easier than everybody else. I was just like, how in the world did she stand behind that wheel? Like, <laughs> She is like this big though, she's so And so they play well together um, and use each other's strengths really well. You know, you two did such an amazing job. Even though you didn't make it to the final, Kelly, you talked about not choosing Survivor. And with the current state of the world, do you think you chose to go on the right show? Absolutely. Um, giving people some smiles, some laughs, letting them see scenery. Because a lot of people are still social distancing. So you see your four walls. So if me running like a crazy person through Bogota gave you some smiles and some butterflies, like I hope that that you know helped because the current state of you know our country the world is is not the greatest at the moment so anytime that we can take your mind off of something and give you something else i think it's a good thing well absolutely kelly levon you two ran right into my heart i love you both so much thank you so much for being here you guys are incredible thanks again thank, thank you. you people you can watch the amazing race every wednesday at 8 7 central on cbs